I'm Chuck Brown, president of Infinity Incorporated. We could ask a lot if there's a simple checklist for small business cybersecurity measures. Larger companies have larger IT budgets and often employ many layers of security or use a managed services provider like us to manage their security. Smaller businesses often have the same exposure and problems, but not the budget to match. So we wanted to list out a few things that a small business should consider in the ongoing battle against cyber threats. Your first line of defense continues to be good password hygiene. Strong, unique passwords and a password manager to help generate and manage them. That means don't use common names, dates, or words spelled out. Don't use the same password twice. Consider some nonsensical but easy to remember combination of numbers, upper and lowercase letters, and symbols. The combination summer flowers, where the S and F are capitalized, the E in summer is replaced with an ampersand, and the O in flowers is replaced with a zero, gets a high rating, for example. Next is two-factor authentication, especially for online accounts. This especially applies to your email accounts. 2FA can be as simple as getting a text message with a six-digit code or using an authentication app on your phone. Keeping your software up to date is another important step. A large number of the updates that Microsoft and other vendors put out these days are designed to close vulnerabilities that have been discovered. They often cost you nothing but the time to upgrade. Our weakest link continues to be people. Most bad things that happen to your network were either caused or allowed to happen by human failure. Ransomware often comes in through emails where someone clicks something they shouldn't have. Training is available from numerous online sources, much of it at no or little cost. Simply reminding your staff to ask before they click and to be aware goes a long way. Going up the sophistication level a bit, we have firewalls and antivirus software. Both vary widely in price and difficulty of implementation, but these are protections no business should be without. Free antivirus software is much less effective than commercially available software, but free is better than nothing if properly configured. Another best practice for small business is access control. That's the principle of need to know access. The simplest thing to do with your data is to give everyone access to everything. But that's also the most dangerous thing to do. By compartmentalizing and granting each group of your team access to only what they need to do their jobs, you significantly reduce the likelihood that someone will damage data they shouldn't have had access to in the first place. Finally, there's backup and recovery. The keys to survival if and when something bad does happen. Entire books have been written about the selection and implementation of backups and how to write recovery plans, so it's outside of what we have time for here. But the important thing to remember is you must make sure your data is securely backed up, and you must make sure that that backup is recoverable within a time frame that won't significantly impact your business. For information on these and other cybersecurity measures you can take, please visit us on the web at infinityinc.us.